Okay, our students, this is for painting class. This is the eight watercolor techniques. The first thing you're going to do is fold your paper in half three times so you get eight squares. You're going to label your rectangles, splatter, wet on wet, salt, blowing, dry brush, glazing, sponge texture, and plastic wrap texture. Here's how I'd like for you to do splatter. <coughs> you get some water and put it in your brush. You hold your brush down at a 45 degree angle and gently tap. The more water you have in there, the bigger the splatters are going to be. The less water you have in there, the smaller your splatters will be. If they will go on the page, you can angle your brush down towards the page. Do not angle it out. Do not fling it. Okay, you don't need to do that for watercolor paint, only thicker like acrylic or, or oil paint. The next is wet on wet. First thing you do is make a water puddle with the wet on wet. Then you dip the paint into it and let it move around. It clouds out and spreads out almost like tie-dye in a way. Okay, that's wet on wet. Salt technique is when you do a wet on wet first. You do the wet water and then you dip the paint into it. But then we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of salt into it. And you can see here, the following day when it dries, it leaves a texture. Okay. It looks kind of speckled now. Some of it will stick, some of it will not. But what the salt's going to do is it's going to absorb the paint. The next thing we're going to do is a blowing. You lay a wet on wet technique down first by putting a puddle of water and then lots of paint. And then we're not going to use straws and all that because that can get out of hand. So we're going to just hold it up to our mouths and fingers will shoot out. And those are good for like jellyfish, they're good for all kinds of whatever plants free forms um, form. So when it's done correctly, it's going to look like this. Okay. The next technique is dry, dry brush. Dry brush is when you basically get as much water out of your brush as possible and you paint with it and the texture and paper shows through. That's dry brush. Glazing is wet on wet with more than one color in it. You have a water puddle, you put the color into it, you put a separate color into it, and the colors blend, kind of like when you glue down tissue paper and, and the colors bleed together. Okay, that's glazing. Now when you do a wet on wet area, you need to let it dry or use a blow dryer over there at the cabinets to the right, or the drawers to the right, to dry that area and surface first before you paint next to it. The next technique is a sea sponge. Sea sponge has a lot more nooks and crannies than a regular manufactured sponge does. <laughs> You're going to dip it into the water. Squeeze most of the water out of it. You don't want it runny. You want it just damp so the texture of the sponge shows through. Okay, and you can do different colors as well. They're different sizes. You could cut these to fit a better shape if you wanted to. But I don't want to see you know, abusing them and cutting for no reason. All right, after that is a plastic wrap texture. What you do is you lay down your paint in your water. You take a piece of wrap and you crinkle it and you let it stay on there till the next day and dry and it'll have like ridges. And that is that texture. Let's see if this has teeth, it works. It does not. Okay, anyway, what you would do is you'll pull your plastic wrap off, either cut it or pull it, lay it down in here and squish it up, and then leave it on there for a day and let it dry, and then you can see what that texture looks like. So at the beginning of lesson three, you're going to try all these textures and practice sheets, and then you're going to incorporate them into a final painting, which I will show you a sample of later. Thank you.